Welcome, my name is Fabiola Miguel. I'm a certified hypnotist, life coach, and holistic nutritionist. For more information, visit the website in the description area. Sometimes emotions can be so intense that could lead us to make mistakes, say or do things that only made the situation worse. When these emotions are so intense, people can develop unhealthy habits and behaviors, like eating too much or too fast, smoking, drinking alcohol, spending money in unnecessary stuff. And sometimes we might even attract toxic people into our lives. It is highly recommended to get professional help if you have anger problems, depression, or anxiety. Because these are some of the emotions that could cause problematic habits and behaviors. Emotional intelligence is very important in life to be happy, achieve goals, to be healthy, and develop good relationships with others, but more than anything, to have emotional well-being. One of the goals of emotional intelligence is to control and regulate emotions. Are you ready? During the next few minutes, leave behind anything else, any interruptions, and just do your best to concentrate only on my voice. Find a really comfortable place and take a deep and slow breath. Imagine that you're now breathing in relaxation and positive energy, but you exhale stress and tension. That's right, with every breath you breathe peace, positive energy. But you exhale stress and tension and allow every single muscle of your body to relax and become loose and limp. Continue to concentrate on your breathing and allow my voice to go with you no matter how relaxed you are. And as I start counting back Allow this relaxation to double, then going down and drifting down, nine, allow every single muscle to become loose, limp and relaxed, eight, feeling really safe and secure, seven, going deeper, six, Five, going down and drifting down. Four, the deeper you go, the better you feel. Three, allow this relaxation to expand across your entire being. Two, going deeper, relaxed. And one. Now your subconscious mind is ready to benefit from all the positive suggestions that you will receive. Your emotions can help you take good care of yourself and protect you in many situations. Your emotions can be good. You have emotions, but you are not your emotions. Whatever your emotions, they are transient. No matter how intense they are, you can control them and feel more confident and proud of yourself. You can control your emotions. You are the manager of your feelings and emotions. You are capable of developing greater self-control. You can allow your emotions to come and go. Your emotions can guide you and protect you. But if they are very intense, you can reduce the intensity so they benefit you and help you make better decisions. 
Now think of a situation in which you would like to have greater self-control. Take a deep breath. Loosen up your arms. Slow down your breathing. Now I'd like to imagine a timeline where you can see your past, your present, and your future. Imagine that you step back for a moment and you look at your past and you realize how your emotions have affected you in the past. And as you look at your present, think about how you would feel if you allowed those emotions to continue to control you. You also think about how this could affect your life. And as you look at your future, you begin to think about how allowing your emotions to control you would affect your relationships, your health, your work, your well-being. Now take a deep breath. And for a moment, I would like to focus on your present. And as you do this, I would like to think of the word ice. Maybe this reminds you of a cold drink with lots of ice cubes. Or maybe snow comes to your mind. As you think about ice, you begin to notice how your temperature goes down, as well as your emotions. Your breathing slows down and you relax. You can think more clearly. You have a greater perspective on the situation. You cool down to a more comfortable temperature. And as you think of the word ice, you continue to breathe slowly and deeply. Your emotions cool down. You relax. You're thinking clearly in the best way to handle the situation. You're able to think about what you want to say. Once again you think about your timeline and you realize how your emotions have affected you in the past, how they would continue to affect you if you continue to let them control you for another year, another five or ten years. Today you take charge of your life. You are the one who's in control of your feelings and emotions. Take a slow deep breath. The more you practice this technique, the more effective it will become. In a moment, I'm going to count from 1 to 3. At the count of 3, you can open your eyes, feeling relaxed and feeling amazing to do whatever you want to do or to sleep if you're listening to this audio at night. 1. Coming back slowly. 2. Feeling relaxed, safe, secure, peaceful, in control. And three. Take your time to come back. Allow the energies to return to your body. And when you're ready, allow your eyes to open. Thanks for listening. Blessings and until next time.